Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss a very important clinical test that we all of us should do in every patient of dengue who, who is admitted under us on a daily basis. This test is called as the HES test or it is also called as the Rumpel lead test. This test was discovered by Dr. Alfred Fabian Hess. Sometimes it is also called as the tourniquet test. Now, as you can see in this video, this uh, test is very important to assess the capillary fragility because uh, the WHO guideline says that a patient of dengue can be given platelet uh, infusion if the platelet count goes below 10,000. The use of HES test on a daily basis is that it will give you idea whether the patient uh, uh, is getting deteriorated based on the platelet function because if the test is positive it indicates that the patient has a poor platelet fragile, capillary fragility hence the patient has a poor platelet function or the patient may have bleeding diathesis or the patient may have developed a very severe thrombocytopenia. It, however, can also be seen in some cases of scurvy, but as far as we are concerned, uh, treating the medical patients, you always keep HES test as, uh, as the first test you should do in every patient of dengue. So, as you can see uh, in the video, for performing this test, we first draw a 1 inch by 1 inch uh, square on the forearm, upper part of the forearm or the anticubital area of the patient. Then we measure the blood pressure of the patient. Now giving an example, for example, if the patient's blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury, we select the mid-range blood pressure. Here in this case, the blood pressure mid-range would be 100 millimeters of mercury because it comes e equal between 120 and 80 millimeters of mercury. We then inflate the blood pressure machine, blood pressure cuff, 200 millimeters of mercury and we keep it inflated at 100 millimeters of mercury for approximately 10 minutes and we keep observing whether the patient develops petechiae on the forearm during this period. If the number of petechiae in this 1 inch square area that we have drawn on the forearm as you can see on the video, if the number of petechiae in this area exceeds more than 10 or 15, it is considered as a positive HES test and it then indicates that the patient is at danger of having a bleeding diathesis because of reduced platelet function or reduced platelet number and hence you should give platelet to such patient. So this test is therefore very important and make it a habit to do this test on regular basis on daily basis and remember to put the notes daily whether the HES test is positive or negative so that it will help your clinical practice and it will save more patients clinically. So I hope this video and lecture would be very useful for every one of us and we will right away start performing HES test on every patient of dengue who gets admitted under us henceforth. Thank you so much.